Now, on one final matter, when the press was focused on the unfortunate lapse in government funding, the good news about last month's historic tax reform law continues to pile up. The number of Americans preparing to receive pay raises, special bonuses, and other benefits thanks to the historic tax cuts passed last month continues to grow. And these are just the first fruits of a law that also lays a long-term foundation for better job opportunities, higher wages, and more investment. On this subject, here's something that not many have realized yet. Even the Democrats' government shutdown couldn't keep this Congress from finding new ways to cut taxes and let the American people keep more of their hard-earned money. Included in yesterday's bipartisan bill <clears throat> was an additional $31 billion in tax cuts. Specifically, we delayed three onerous taxes that were created as part of Obamacare. Last year, as part of comprehensive tax reform, we repealed the unfair individual mandate tax at the heart of Obamacare. Now we've taken care of three more. One of Obamacare's deeply unpopular tax on medical devices, another was the so-called Cadillac tax that Senator Heller of Nevada has worked hard uh, to delay. That tax penalizes employers who offer generous benefits. And the third, simply called the health insurance tax, makes plans more expensive. All three of these taxes are unpopular. All are key pieces of the failing Obamacare health law. And now, because this Congress is so intent on saving the American people money, all three of them will be delayed. Personally, I like the way the New York Times put it. Their headline read, quote, there's a surprise in the government funding bill, more tax cuts. Here's the story's first line. Congress is apparently not done cutting taxes, even after passing a $1.5 trillion tax overhaul last year. Well, Mr. President, I couldn't say it better than the New York Times. The Senate is never done looking for new ways to take money out of Washington's pocket and put it back in the pockets of the American people. <laughs>